All right, what's going on, you guys? Nick here with Nick's on the Power. So in this video, I want to talk about the legitimate possibility of Phil Heath coming back to reclaim his title at the Olympia. Now, for this video, I want to throw aside all the lawsuit stuff, all the nonsense, all the negativity towards Phil, and keep this completely objective because I think Phil Heath did have some good points in the interviews that he did, and I think he also had some bad points in those interviews as well, and I want to talk about both of those things. So the first thing I think we need to address is what year are we talking about? I think we're probably pretty safe to say we're not talking about the 2019 Mr. Olympia. Phil has suggested several times that he's going to wait and take time to heal um, before he comes back to the Olympia stage. And he even said on Dave Palumbo's interview, probably not when Dave asked him if he would be competing at the 2019 Mr. Olympia. So I think it's fairly safe to say when we're talking about a Phil Heath comeback, we're talking about the year 2020. Now, next, I want to address one of the points that I thought that Phil made was actually a very good point. He was talking about his conditioning and how good he did look from the back. Now, I think Phil did have a good point here. He said, people are so focused on looking at my midsection. No one is talking about the points that I brought that were fantastic. And Phil's right about that. No one was making videos about how good his back was uh, because everyone was talking about why he lost. But if you look at this video that Phil shared on his Instagram page, he's absolutely correct. I mean, he did bring a level of graininess and conditioning throughout his entire back. His hamstrings were insane. I mean, the, the graininess in the hamstrings was ridiculous. Um, and Phil Heath pointed that out in his interview. Um, and that is something worth noting in a video. Phil Heath's conditioning from the back. Now, I did say in my video comparing Phil and Sean, I think Phil destroyed Sean in the back shots. I think Sean won the competition fair and square. But in the back shots, I think it was not even, it's, it's not even close. I mean, Phil Heath from the back is nearly unbeatable. I mean, tell me who's beating Phil Heath in the back shots right now. Nobody in the IFBB. Now, this brings me to the other point that Phil made that I wanted to address is he says, people keep saying I need to work on my conditioning. Um, and he keeps saying that he wasn't off at this show. His conditioning was good. And I would agree with that. I think it's getting kind of misconstrued that people, you know, when they say Phil was off here, I don't think they're talking about his conditioning. They're talking about the midsection. I think Phil was conditioned at the 2018 Mr. Olympia, but I think Sean was better conditioned. Now, if we're talking about whether or not Phil Heath can come back and reclaim his title, we have to talk about the elephant in the room and the topic that Phil seems to hate everybody talking about, and that is his midsection. Um, now, I did do a video going pose for pose of Phil versus Sean. You can check that out um, if you want to see a full breakdown. But the main topic is Phil saying he kind of feels that Sean only won because of his midsection, and people are giving Sean all these poses against Phil because of the midsection. Now, Phil says the problem with his midsection is that he had torn incisions from his hernia surgery. And I'll be honest with you guys, I believe him. I believe that his incisions did tear and this did contribute to the distended stomach. Now, do I think these incisions were the entire contributing factor to the midsection looking the way it did? I don't think so. I do think they made it look worse. I do think they certainly made it harder to control. But I think Phil Heath's physique has evolved to a point now um, where there's always going to be some element of blockiness to the midsection. Now, that being said, I think the weakness in his midsection was extremely exploited in between poses where he couldn't seem to control it at all. And that, I do believe, could have been because of these torn incisions. So I do believe there's a possibility that this is entirely true. Phil Heath could get this fixed. He has a surgery this month, I believe. Um, and he takes enough time off to let everything fully heal and he could come back without this problem being present. So I will say this, we can all like or dislike or have whatever personal feelings we have towards Phil, um, all this lawsuit nonsense and all that stuff. Put all that to the side and consider Phil's actual physique, consider Phil as a bodybuilder. Um, when we're talking about whether or not he can come back and take his title back, I think there is a legitimate shot that Phil Heath can come back in 2020 and get his eighth Mr. Olympia. However, I do think the only way he gets that win is if the midsection is completely fixed, completely controlled, not just during the poses, but in the transitions. None of what we saw this year can be there. I think for him to win, it has to be a complete non-issue. Do I think that Phil lost the 2018 Mr. Olympia because of his midsection? Yes, I do. I think it hurt him in every pose. Um, it was exacerbated in the transitions. And that's why I made videos discussing it. I mean, Phil kind of acts like, you know, people are trying to make this narrative about his midsection and make this the story, make the midsection um, bigger than it really is, make it the big story about 2018, when really it is the story. I mean, I think that's the reason why Phil lost. I think that's the reason why people are talking about it. Um, read the comment section on any channel. 
not just mine, any bodybuilding channel that has talked about the Olympia. I mean, it's the fans' opinion. The fans are reacting to these videos and saying this as well. It's not just the people, you know, who are making bodybuilding videos. I think this is the opinion of everybody. I mean, other pro bodybuilders have weighed in on this. Ex-pro bodybuilders have weighed in on this. Quote, unquote, bodybuilding experts have weighed in on this. I think everybody seems to agree the midsection is the reason Phil lost. Um, so it's not really us trying to make a mountain out of a molehill and the midsection really isn't an issue. I think it is an issue. Um, and I think Phil needs to take that more of, you know, as feedback, as constructive criticism. Um, because really, what are we saying? If Phil Heath corrects the midsection, we're saying he's going to win the Olympia again. So really what we're doing is we're telling him what we think the problem is since he's, he seems confused as to why he lost. Um, and everybody is kind of saying this is the problem. So we're telling him, you know, this is how you're going to win the Olympia again. And I've even said, despite all the drama, despite the lawsuit stuff, all that nonsense, I would like to see Phil come back and take his title back. I love a good comeback story. Uh, I loved when Jay Cutler did it in 2009. It was, you know, one of the most hyped Mr. Olympias ever. Um, and Jay Cutler came back looking phenomenal. So would I root for Phil if Phil Heath came back in 2020 with a completely transformed physique like Jay Cutler did in 2009? Hell yeah, I would. Even if he does sue me. So let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Do you think Phil Heath can make a comeback and take his title um, in 2020? Thank you guys for watching the video. Please give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Nick Strength and Power, signing out.